I told this love and Gemini Cancer cusp some back after closing the window. And um, if you just watched my last reading, which was really, really quick, it's because the wind blew in, which is air energy. And I kept saying that the reading heavily was making me think Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Um, so I went to Snapchat my friend to tell him what had happened because I'm like, isn't this so weird? This was the message I was getting and this is what happened. Almost like it was a confirmation. And as I went to Snapchat him, it freaking blew in again. As I went to tell him that I thought it was a confirmation, it blew in again. So it was like double confirmation and obviously some strong ass wind and I did lock the window. So hopefully if anything blows in now in this reading, I don't know what it what to say. Um, wind signifies change. Um, today's Mother's Day when I'm filming that this, which Empress Day, so maybe the mighty Empress is letting herself be known. All right, so like I said, we're starting another one for Gemini Cancer Cusp. Yes, this is going to be my fourth Gemini Cancer Cusp reading, and I'm in a row like what the hell is happening in the world yes change is happening all this win all right and I'm also a believer in that was just the message I must have just gotten out the message that was meant to be said and now I'm meant to do this message as well so here we go Gemini cancer cusp gang gang well, this message is going to be for June 17th through the 23rd. All of the cuspers, not just heavy Gemini. But of course, if you found it, it was probably meant for you. Do you... Oh my good lord, we just got this one. You just saw how much I was moving this in my hands. This came out two days ago. Do you value yourself? You seem to have self-worth struggles to conquer so Gemini cancer cusp I know my actions aren't matching my words I can't lie or manipulate you you're too smart and see through my BS you can definitely tell a Gemini wrote this look at how much freaking writing is on these cards how could you do that a lot of dark looking ca cads here. Oh, I'm done not being honest. Well, me. All right. So maybe someone was be was being deceitful and lying and realized that who they were trying to bullshit was um, too smart for their shit. So now it's like they have to be honest. It was never meant to get serious or go this far. Heavy, this is someone you've talked to about either feelings or what's gone on between you guys because there's a lot of writing here. Great hair is at the bottom and this was just out in my last one. I just want to hit it then quit it. Communication breakdown. So many of these readings with my cards in the beginning have spoken to one person wanting more than what the other person wants. Um, and I feel like there's two smart individuals here and maybe one is either a player or used to being a player or like used to having players on the bench and who they were dealing with could see through that bullshit and sees through that bullshit and can't be played, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Heavy on player. And I'm thinking like basketball too. So maybe this is someone who plays basketball or you like basketball or play basketball. Um... There's something to this basketball though. Because basketball is actually a very, very intelligent mental game. 
and I feel like I'm looking at two opponents who are equal in stature, physical appearance and mental ability, like their ability to play the game, outmaneuver each other, anticipate your opponent's next move while keeping in track and align with the stop clock and where you're standing on the court. I feel like there's a match here. It's a match, like an equal match. These messages, man, have been so clear as shit. And I, I don't mean that as an oxymoron. I mean, like, they really are clear. This is totally... <sighs> it's like two people who are opponents, but they want to... It's like, all right, how do I describe this? The whole thing is two people who want to be together, whether it's a friendship, working well together, actually in a relationship. They like each other, but there's this opposition and competition and it's like an equal opponent. And that's what's liked. It's like, it's, it's an equal, it's an uh, it's a fair game, I guess. Not one is stronger than the other. All right, let's see where this goes. Totally, all I can see is two basketball players playing in an empty uh, at an empty court, and it's an equal game. And they're used they each used to winning. Oh, this is getting better and better. They're each used to winning. They like they don't like that they can't easily, all right, they don't like that they're not winning, but they like that it's not an easy fight. Like no, there is no winner or loser yet because it's an equal fight, an equal competition. Ten of Cups reversed. To me, this talks of like being um, being alone and not having fulfillment, um, not being in the relationship that you want to be in. Um, I there's a lot of swords here at the end. There's the the Nine of Cups like that bastards been fighting some demons and followed by the five of swords the ten of swords the king of swords reverse the five of pentacles this is like this is baggage that someone needs to let go of um these are wounds these are wounds that could be literally self-inflicted like someone was literally someone who would inflict pain on themselves by cutting um, parts of their body but it was an anxiety and a stress and a um, coping mechanism but I'm seeing that like the things that used to trigger someone to um, self-harm I'm gonna have to put like a trigger warning I've never had to do that for a reading but uh, I just see it if um, that's not the, the same coping mechanism that's being used, but there are coping mechanisms that are being used that someone that aren't healthy, that someone is using to help cope with their anxieties and issues like the panic. They'll feel panic and they used to relieve that panic in, um, a harmful way and now it's like there's a different way that they cope with it but it's very singular 
Someone's very sad and lonely. Could be dealing with the Virgo. The Magician just came out and it's kind of reversed. It's Gemini Aries energy. I feel like, um, oh, so my last room, my last Gemini Cancer reading was all about self love. I feel like, um, this is speaking of doing internal work. This is speaking, if that window blows open, so help me gosh, I'm going to say that the good Lord is saying, <laughs> Megan, this is the message and then do another one. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. There's like, it's like clear, but I don't know how to say it out loud without... Someone here has like created a world for themselves where they are very alone. And um, someone is just so wrapped up and being single. This could be who you're dealing with too, Gemini Cancer Cusp. This could be that they were hurt or you, however this resonates. I see divorce, I see splits, I see a breakup. Maybe there wasn't an actual divorce, but just like you lived with someone, there was a big breakup, the relationship that you thought would be happily ever after, or your idea of what happily ever after would have been for you at this age has not come into fruition, has not happened. You don't even think you don't even have the same vision of what happily ever after is anymore to what it was when you were younger. And I feel like someone's like become a recluse working on their, um, their business, their, um, their creations, like, Someone heavily here, I feel like, has kind of like dipped out, disappeared for a bit, and started working on their, their skills, their abilities, their crafts. This could be someone who reads tarot and astrology. This could be someone who um, picked up cooking, picked up knitting, picked up... Um, learning something online learning a new language turning some like turning off the world and turning inward and working on manifesting like their little world and working on their intuition and working on whatever spiritual gifts if there are spiritual gifts there I feel like I'm also looking at someone who has re recognized and realized what they did wrong in the past in relationships, friendships, jobs, to get them to the point where they're needing to look inward and work on the things that um, they did or the past that they followed in the past that weren't for their higher good and led to heartbreak and hurt. These are some heavy freaking messages. Someone here who was given and given and given to other people and someone who's just stopped and is like working on themselves more. I just feel like that hermit and that magician, they're both in reverse because it's like hidden and it's inward. No one knows what you're up to, Gemini Cancer Cost. Maybe that's it. My stomach's 
extra on the wing. That usually means I'm spot on. I just keep feeling someone is like settled into being single and they feel it's like almost too comfortable there. Seven of Pentacles reversed and I feel like this is um, Page of Swords reversed. I feel like this is someone who's given to other people, places in the past. Worried too much about social media. Worried too much about what people would see on social media. Worried about appearing, this is gonna sound really stupid, but worrying about peer, appearing like you weren't having enough fun or a good enough life. Like needing to seem like you were having it all and that you had no worries and that you were the boss of your own life and having fun and enjoying it. And this was part of this gem, the, an older, like this Gemini Cancer cusp, the old Gemini Cancer cusp that gave to others too much of, and didn't give to themselves enough. They were very heavily worried about social media and their way that they would appear. Really want, wanting to seem like they had money, wanting to seem like they have it all, that I'm in the greatest relationship, that I have the best friends, that I have the coolest clothes. Someone was very focused on all that superficial shit and I feel like there's been an end of that and that's part of this Gemini cancer cusp that has become a recluse is like in a hermit mode Maybe you've taken yourself off social media Maybe this is part of why nobody knows what you're up to anymore because you used to give so much of your energy out on social media and um, You're just not doing it anymore. And I feel like the energy you were giving was all to convey this picture or this view that others would see you in that you had it all, that you had money, that you had a relationship, that you had a beautiful house or home life or family life, that you had money, like you wanted and cared heavily on that social media or just view in general people had of you. And I feel like there's been an end of that. King of Pentacles reversed. Maybe you split from someone, like there was an ending of something right here and that's why you've like been a real recluse and like keeping to yourself, like not talking to people who you used to talk to. Well, that King of Pentacles and now this Page of Pentacles, I'm realizing heavily go with the um, Hermit because that's all Earth energy right there. So you really could be dealing with the Virgo or something happened Virgo season or could be happening Virgo season. I feel like you could have split from someone who you were in a pretty serious relationship with and there's this desire to or interest in coming back around if it hasn't already happened. I feel like this was someone who either you put them up on a pedestal or they put you up on a pedestal and um, now you're seeing them in a much more different light or they're seeing you in a different light. You're seeing them for... Um, or maybe someone seriously like lost their stability and security, had, took a big hit to their money and funds. <coughs> I also, I'm just seeing too like Gemini Cancer cost 
the one who's been like turning inward, staying inward. I just mentioned this in the last reading. That King of Pentacles is looking down at that pentacle and it's his skill, his gifts, his what he can offer to the world. He's been sitting on it, honing it, creating it, building it, maintaining it, and keeping it a secret. And now all of a sudden, it's being given to the world or shown to the world or shared with the world. It, it literally could be a gift. Like someone gave you something and you're, you've built it up and you're re-gifting it and it's starting anew with someone else. But I also see like a split from someone, a separation from someone who was your king and then wanting to restart at page level. Page of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Ooh, the Lovers Reverse. Gemini Energy. Which goes with the Magician. Which is Gemini Energy followed by the Five of Wands. Seven of Cups. Someone here <clears throat> is very, very powerful. Like mentally powerful. Mentally <clears throat> too smart to be bullshitted. Smart enough to notice when actions aren't matching words. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm seeing Moses partying the Red Sea. Like, if there's an argument or fight, you can just like calm the situation and everybody down. And it's, um, it's like a, a magical power you have, Gemini Cancer Cusp, to like stop fights, stop fighting, to like, to maybe to, um, <clears throat> make up. I feel like there could be someone here, Gemini specifically with that lover's reversed, who has is the person that you may have split with or like had some sort of ending with and you've been doing your own thing. Maybe they've been doing your own, their own thing. There was some compatibility and you did work well together, but maybe you were giving too much to this person and this is why there was some sort of split or separation, but... Someone did a lot of thinking about it and wants to um, come back with a different, with an offer. They want to start fresh. This is part of that King of Pentacles reversed to the Page of Pentacles upright. The Magician reversed and the love with the Lovers reversed is I don't think you realize someone trying to manifest like coming back together. That Five of Wands reversed trying to fix the fight that maybe ended it, maybe there was multiple people that were in an argument, that was the end of it, and you're just, they're just trying to come back with one. But I also feel like <clears throat> this is like a very powerful person who doesn't realize how powerful their manifestations are. That magician with the five of wands reversed, it's like a love power here too, like, it's upright. It's not upright because I don't think this person goes out and uses like freaking sexual energy or whatever to get people or use love energy or whatever. Like this is in reverse because um, someone's trying to... create a very sexy um, union. Either you're trying to create this very sexy union with them or they're trying to create the sexy union with you and I feel like it's an offer that's going to come your way. 
all I can see is this page of Pentacles looking over at the Magician reverse, the Lovers reverse, and the Five of Wands. That Five of Wands could be fighting, but I'm also seeing a lot of internal struggle because there's a lot of attraction here and wanting to um, be with someone or restart something with someone. When? Death transform something with someone this is Scorpio energy but the three of wands reversed <clears throat> and I've already saw this with the other deck wow the chariot followed by the magician reverse holy hell someone would really like to change directions either with you or towards you it's like they've been it's almost like I see someone waiting for the other person to make the move to come forward, but they're not. They're just like going about their business. So this person is sick of waiting and they're going to move in and make the transformation. They're going to come forward and because they've been wanting this to move forward and make it and have a change. They've been waiting for it, but nothing's happened. I see heavy Gemini here again. I see Aries, Hermit, um, Hermit, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, Aries again. Maybe something's happening Gemini season. I mean, let's get one more for this and then I'm gonna call it Ace of Cups reverse went flying over to the Ten of Cups. I feel like, I was thinking the word crush earlier, crush, crush, crush. I feel like someone really has feelings and emotions for you, Gemini Cancer Cusp, but, oh gosh, they, um, they haven't really told you, or you don't realize how highly they view you. You've had some really good conversations with this person or they've given you really good advice or you've given them really good advice and they really value um, your insight and your words and wisdom. Someone here really values the other person's like insight and wisdom and like the, the guidance that they, that is offered and given is It's like, <laughs> it's like magical, like the ver viewed this way is magical. Well, before another one of my windows blows in, I'm gonna take that as another sign. Plus I gotta get going to my Madre's house. Well, my, pa my parents, Padres, is Padres plural for parents? Or is beep, so maybe I, maybe I was right. whatever um going to my parents for mother's day i wish happy empress day to all the empresses out there whether um male or female i actually i called today um happy you're a parent part one day father's day will be happy you're a parent part two day because I can list several masculine, divine masculines who are fulfilling both masculine and feminine roles in a child's life. So it's happy being a parent, parental figure, or a positive role model in a child's life day, part one. Part two is in June. Right near our cusp. All right, Gemini Cancer Cusp, I will see you on the flip and stay happy, healthy, and well. Bye.